Greetings ladies and gentlemen, this is Blade the Hedgehog, and welcome back to Van Helsing. Now last time, we were with fighting Velkin and Dracula. Now, we are on mission 6, and, but I actually invited a guest. I don't know if she's going to be able to be here or not. Hey, hi. Oh, uh, I didn't notice you. Sorry about that. Anyway. Uh, it's okay. Okay, you're the uh. real Rosaria. <laughs> it, yes. All right. Well, I was making. I sure. am the real one. All right. Well, now that you're here, you, would you mind introducing yourself? I am. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, Queen Rosaria of the Foxes, uh, here, and I want to say hi to all my fellow uh, uh, foxes and spirit detectives, and thank you for having me with you today. Yeah, not a problem. <clears throat> anyway, now we're on mission six. Might mm -hmm. as well go ahead and get started. So, while you're here, I think we need to have a talk about what's been going on. Alright. <clears throat> I'm sorry for throwing a, uh, a hard question at you early, but... Wait, oh, wait, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. yes. Floating... Oh, floating skulls. Just great. Ugh. That's interesting. Flooding yeah. skulls. Hmm. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Sorry for throwing a hard okay. question, hard question at you first, by the way, but what was going on with me? Uh, in what? In what sense? Do you know? yeah, There's a lot of things that go on with him. I need to lower the volume. Oh no, you're fine. Okay, now. <clears throat> anyway, like yes. for the past few days. Okay. Um, well, let's see. First, there was Simperish, and, well, recently that's already been revealed that. Pretty much how what happened was I was expecting Rouge to come see me because I had gotten a letter from her and pretty much it ended up being sent Rouge after I had and this had just happened after uh, Matini um, came in and introduced himself when he was still new to this world and stuff and so so anyway um Long story short though, um, I was having dinner with my cat after I had dinner, I went home and I was waiting on Rouge because she wanted to meet with me, but it turned out to be Simp Rouge and she took, she yanked my key from me and before I knew it I was already back in my world and then just until just recently. You know Mike is playing the dangerous game, right? Yeah, but apparently he doesn't care. I knew I know how my cousin I mean, not not my my girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry. Your um, girlfriend's cousin. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, I know how she would feel if he's dead, but I'm just trying to save him here. Don't you think you need to talk some sense into him? I've already tried that and uh he's not changing his mind about it. Because Mitsuhide is putting a target on him. Well, that's been fixed, actually. That's actually been quite fixed. How's that? Well, he had an agreement with his king. He made a vow to his king that he would actually put going after his head um, off temporarily so he can calm down so they can act and be level-headed so they can find some mm -hmm. So I can actually at least talk to him about letting it off. Mm. Yeah, you can try. I'm her cousin. I'm his cousin's boyfriend. He needs to listen to me. Well, I understand that, but... 
Oh, but at least I could say I went several when three of us met up recently. But I'm not going to go into details, but it's civil. That's all you need to understand. That's how it went. I'll respect your decision. And, um... So what was exactly the plan for the approach? Hmm, to track her down for starters. It's been hard to track her down. <coughs> well, I actually yeah. know your power. I'm pretty sure well, she, she has the ability to match it. Uh, to be honest, I have certain powers, but even with her, she can copy my looks, but I don't think she'll be able to copy my powers. No wonder I felt a different energy when you stayed by her by. <clears throat> don't worry, you're not the same. Trust me, yes, if you I were, know. I would have taken action. Yes, I know. Trust me, I don't want to hurt you. Well, to be fair, I don't think you could anyway. Don't under just don't underestimate my power. I'm not underestimating your power. It I'm just, seems, I'm just it so seems like you were. No, no. I was just saying. Don't, I'm not interested you, but... That's fine. All I'm saying is, I don't know fully what I'm capable of, too, but I can say... <clears throat> is she wouldn't be able to copy it anyway. Right. But, yeah. All I can say is, mm -hmm. if you see her, do what you please. With her is none of my concern. <laughs> oh, I intend to for what she's put me through. I can be nice, but then why should I be nice? If someone copies you, no reason. Hmm. Copy and let all you want, but still won't make them mean. Nice one. Thank you. Sorry to my sorry to sound a little nasal. My throat's really not that clear. Uh you should really drink some tea or something. I'm more of a water person. Well, you can drink as much as you want, but <clears throat> I can get down to it. You really should drink like tea and wine wine tea and honey. Oh, think about it. Mm-hmm. Huh. Now I see these floating skulls have different elements of power. I just saw fire, and now we're dealing with the, the light. Mmm, lightning. That's seems you're a fan of that. Mmm, I'm a fan of anything that has to do with elements. Keep it calm, clear head. Indeed. Mm -hmm. But is there anything else you wanted to ask me? Uh, I knew I was gonna die there anyway. Uh, I'm sorry, what did you say? Is there anything else you wanted to ask me? I'll think as I go. Alright. Do you have any questions for me? Hmm. Yeah, why would you tell Lavender I was after her, uh, child? To be honest, I didn't think... I didn't really... There was a cop. Hmm. I know the real you, but... Just be 
because some unborn child is dead doesn't mean you can doesn't mean you can be able to go after others. I would never go after my friends, nor their children. I believe it when I see it. Mm. I'm, I'm just I'm not thinking you're suspicious, I'm just trying to piece it all together. That's fine. Before I take action. Mm. But Mitsuhide may want me out the way, but I'll stay on his way for now. Well, something tells me that you have a you have a trouble with me. Is there something that scares you? What? Is there something that scares you? I'm pretty sure you've been paying attention to the previous episodes that I, uh... I pay to attention do. to people. Well, with, with me, Mitsuhide, Razio, Rouge... Well, I told them, but I haven't told people, have I? No. To be honest, yeah, something does scare me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess you want to know what that is? Uh, yeah. Losing others in a truck. Mmm. That's a very hard thing to do. Well, not hard, but it's a very... Hard thing to, hard thing to deal with. Yes. But also, it's gonna make it... It's a... as well. It caught that. It caught that. Yeah. Yeah, honey. I'm oh. Alright, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. You're good now. Yeah. <laughs> it has different ways of impacting different ways as well. Though. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to succeed in the battle with Devil at the or whatever he returns. And that's what I mean. But Raziel's actually given me the choice to do so. I'm afraid I can't do it. I just have to think about it. Mm. It's just what Mitsuhide um, said to me. That was trouble. What did he say? He said that if I do kill Raziel with the devil's side. Everyone will turn their back on me, and Ruth will feel devastated, and she'll turn her back on me. He's not wrong, it is a possibility. That could happen. But, when I encountered her, I said, no matter what happens, I'll always trust you. Me and her have a bond, too. That's true. I mean, she is good friends with my roommate. True. I'm, I'm pretty sure you've met him a couple times. A couple. Mm -hmm. And he knows the situation more than me. Yeah. Well. When it comes down to it, you gotta make a choice. If you're gonna be able to pull through with it or not. I don't know, Rosaria. What do you think I should do? Whatever I win the fight. Hmm. As if he can win the fight. It's up to... It all depends if you're able to... Succeed in winning the fight first. That's Frankenstein's monster. Hmm. Fascinating. I can say is it depends on if you win it. Cause his team is not ordinary. 
I know the devil just won't be alone. His own devil's not born in here. Raziel told me what the devil's form is capable of. Yeah. I don't have to be stronger, but I can be smarter. Nice. I'll cut it out. You can talk it out. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Um. What I mean is, if you're, how are you gonna supposed to live? How are you supposed to kill someone who you view as your friend if you can't look past what's important? All I can say is, I can admit that me and Raziel are friends. Me you and can him be friends set, all you want. Me and him set mutual ground last episode. You can be you can be friends all you want. However, it doesn't change the fact that it's still once you accept someone as your friend. Speaking of friends, it seems Van Helsing has befriended the monster. Mm hmm. But once you accept someone as your friend, it's gonna make it harder. All I can say is the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well. Mm hmm. I don't know if it fits it, but for sure it does. I can. But... What I'm saying is... You've already accepted him as your friend instead of your enemy. But what, how, what are you going to do when he becomes your enemy? Are you going to look past your friend and destroy the monster that's in front of you that might you know will might hurt? Or harm your loved ones or your, your other friends that are close to you. Have you made those? Have you made those tough decisions too? Hmm. Practically, no. I grew up with my ancestor training me to the point I don't need to make those decisions, and I was also. I never had and made friends until now. I'm still getting used to the fact that I have friends. Because I grew up alone. With I, only one person to rely on. I work alone too. But something tells me I'll need some backup when it comes to this. You're gonna need a lot of backup. You interested? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. If you... So. If you... Don't mind getting your hands dirty, that is. Oh, I've got my hands dirty plenty of times. Me both. And, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but it seems Falcon has found a monster. Ah, oh, nice. Not good, though. No. But, at least it's found. Yeah. Seems, uh... Van Helsing is might be going finding. Oh, I can't talk. Van Helsing seems to be finding Velkin again. Mm. Oh, oh, great! More bad. All you have to do is just relax. However, though, I've never had to make those tough decisions because. I wasn't ever given that opportunity to. I was pretty much just trained to the point to where I would to where I was sore and to where I pretty much it wouldn't affect me killing innocents. I could kill I could kill innocent people any time, it wouldn't affect me. Maybe it sounds heartless, but that's how I am. I could win, I could kill Rosie on the spot, but only if it was necessary. But you can't either. Oh, I can. I could do it without a second thought. It's in my, pretty much part of my nature. Not even how Rich feels? 
it wouldn't care, it wouldn't affect me how she feels or not. I kill who I kill if it needs to be done. If it's for the sake of others, I don't care if I'm hated for it. As long as as long as I'm protecting others. All I'm gonna say is it's for the sake of the multiverse. That's what Raziel told me. Then that's what it's for. Then that's what it's for. Nothing else matters. Might make me sound heartless, but if I have to do it, then so be it. I don't care if I'm hated for it. I'm not there to be liked. I'm there to protect. Hmm. So yes, I would help you out. Thanks. Not a problem. I know. I sense no vice from you. Hmm. I'm all about truth. If I figure out someone's not telling the truth, well, I've killed people in the past for not being honest. Like I said, I grew up ruthless. But that was due because I only had one person who raised me after my mother died. My mother passed away a long time ago. I was probably only 700 or 8 years, 800 years old. How old are you now? Sorry for asking. Mmm, I'm 2,000 years old. Hmm. See. 1,020. Hmm. I see. Yeah, it's he's the oldest one. 30. 3,500 and Raziel being 3,000. 500 years on him. So five centuries ahead of each other? Mm hmm. Exactly. Oh. These we found some swords. Hmm. Swords are fascinating. I can use a sword. Have you ever used any other weapons? Mm, I've used bone and bone arrows. Um, I used scythe before too. Don't really fancy a scythe every now and then, but if I have to, I can. I trade just I've trained with just about every weapon, because I mean you gotta be prepared somehow. I see. Mm -hmm. Are there any weapons you never used? Hmm. Only eight. Only. Artifact ones that aren't meant to be touched. Because I don't. Prior, I don't really want to dabble in any artifact, artifact weapons that like aren't meant to. I use, for example? Hmm. Pretty much. It's not saying I can use it. I'm just not going to. Underestimate its ability and try and tame it. Some artifacts actually need to be tamed and some don't. They're and they're they get me picky with certain people. That's the only reason why I don't mess with them. Gotcha. Mm hmm Well, I hope you're enjoying your time here. I am. Yeah, it's going very well, actually. Mm hmm But, um... Mm, Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I definitely will be able to help you out in one mind. Because I know it's going to be a tough road ahead doing it on your own. Yeah. Well, I ran into a certain EXD that told me about this. Mm -hmm. uh, You're gonna need it. We got some werewolves. Mm -hmm. You alright? Uh, werewolves is a touchy subject for me. Uh, apologies. 
It's alright. You didn't know. Oh, I know. I actually know. Mm, I get. I take it Mr. he tells you. I piece it together. Hmm. Yeah. Well. And me and Raziel talked about it too. Hmm. Hmm. I can understand why, but. It's mm. okay if you want. Alright, if you don't want to talk about it, I'll let it be. No, I, uh... Recently... Lost my, my own child and everything. I guess that's why people are... I guess that's the reason why you'd be concerned. But... Uh, I still wouldn't do that to others. However... But... No... I... My half brother, who's a, who is the king of the werewolf kingdom, actually, was the one who did that to me. If I wanted a permit to hate it, I would take longer to recover. <clears throat> but that's pretty much why I have a problem with werewolves. My half brother is a werewolf. He's full blooded werewolf. And I'm a fox. And I come recently and find a half werewolf blood in me, but it doesn't make me werewolf. Well, I know one of my old friends mm -hmm. back then um, was a werewolf. I see. Mm -hmm. oh, your, your friend, Montago, was one? Yeah, he passed away, or got killed. Oh, my condolences. Sorry about your loss. Sorry. Mm. Hey. Must be hard still. It, it is hard. It would be hard to deal with that every day, actually. Mm. But... Yeah. But that's pretty much why it's touchy for me. I understand. Especially just recently finding out I didn't... I didn't know I had other family. Come find out your own brother, he, your own half brother hates you once you're dead because you reek the scent of the same father we share. He hates our father. For what reason, I don't know. But I, th I think he hates him because it's maybe because of me and my, and my mother. Okay. Mm. Mm. Everything okay with Falcon, or are you having trouble? Just started. That's good. That's also another reason I help you out. Because I know Brave would be sad if I didn't. Hmm. 
You all right? Just focusing. All right. I knew no Belkin's really tough. Mm. That's good. What? Uh, is it? How the hell did he get back up that quick? Oh, it's one of those that make you think that you won thing, and then it's like, wow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are a doozy. And, oh, wait. Wow, these were not done yet. I see. Anna's taken again. Mm. How's your, um, kingdom? Yeah. Uh, last time I was told it's still standing, and my ancestor is not aware of what's going on at the moment, because if he did, it would be very, it would be much worse. How so? <laughs> well, if he got wind of what's going on, he would just see it as another opportunity for him to get closer to what he to have what he wants. What are you talking about? What do you mean he? My ancestor to have what he wants. Didn't, and didn't you get rescued one time by Draco? Yeah, and along the way, my ancestor had found out, and Draco had to get us out of there. And that was stupid for Draco. I under I thank him still, but he was still stupid. My ancestor is not a reasonable guy, and he does not like humans on our turf. And I'm he not think on that list, right? Oh, I hope not. And it's no, it's no offense taken. It's just for your own protection. I would hope not, None though, because no worries, none taken. 
and he likes to kill humans that he thinks he must taint our kingdom if they step foot on it. <laughs> Some hobby. Yes. He's not very nice and social. He's what y'all would call a more than a more than a jerk, you could say. Oh well, here's a good compare. Here's a good. Here's a good thing. How much worse he is. He's worse than Eggman. Anything can be worse. Oh, he's much worse than Eggman. He makes Eggman look nice. Even an EXE? Uh, yeah. You know, EXEs look like cute little kittens compared to how his personality is. Of course. Oh, yeah. I think the only thing that is toe-to-toe that is -to -toe with his personality is the devils. Rouge and Raziel, I assume? Mm-hmm. Wait, what's going on here? That's how bad, that's how bad my ancestor is. Tell me where the Frankenstein monster hides, and we have a deal. Tell me, or say goodbye. He's done a lot of unspeakable things that, you know, I pretty much can't say to the audience here. It's not appropriate. We all know how famous you are for protecting your Hey, yes. Oh, great. Yeah, very bad things. Now we're actually, now we're fighting Dracula again. Uh, I see. <sighs> but Draco's lucky to get out of there before he even came back. Yeah, I consider him lucky in that Oh, yeah, but he was very stupid at the same time. It's okay. You're focused on the game. Yeah. What? I'm still listening. <sighs> okay. Well, yeah, that's how, that's how bad he is. That's the kind of lifestyle I grew up that time, so ruthless. Mm, but I... Yeah, before my mother died, I made a promise to her and everything, so I tend to keep it. You're not the only one who made promises. I see. I guess you made a promise to your friend before they died as well. Actually, parents. Mm. I see. Mm. Yeah. My father's alive somewhere. I don't know where though. Stupid, but I guess uh, you could say how life was for me. I wasn't ever allowed to leave my kingdom growing up. I, for a long as I've known, growing up, I longed to be to see the ocean because I've never been there. The ocean. Mhm. Mm Yes, I know it's silly, but I've never been there. Been one, not in my kingdom at all. Every time I got close to leaving, I was forced back to tend to the kingdom and solitude altogether. Hence, why my only friends are forest friends and creatures like lavender hats. Communicate to animals as well. It's my best friend. There's a chipmunk. Hmm. 
<laughs> yes. And got him. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. What is the monster doing? Oh, oh, never mind. I found out. And just like that, the mission's done. So what did you think? Mmm, I think it's quite interesting. Well, I think that would be a good time to end the episode here. Next time yes. we'll be here, we'll be on Mission 8. I will have a different guest, though. Maybe, well, I think... Maybe possibly find some more answers. Agreed. Do you know anybody else who's involved in this situation? Hmm... Afraid not. Oh, be sure to keep an eye out. Right. So I'll invite him here. Maybe get to hear what they know. Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure you leave a like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see more of me or my roommate. Also, check out Rosaria's channel. I will leave a link in the <laughs> description below. Would you like to say anything before we call it off? Uh, thanks for having me here, Blade, and uh, to chill with you today. And goodbye, all my fellow foxes and spirit detectives. And I'll see y'all in the next time. And this is Blade the Hedgehog saying farewell and stay safe. <laughs>